Bonjour, mes amis. Hello, my friends. How are you? Comment ça va? Thank you for coming today and welcome back to junior elementary STEM class. Our lesson today is called The Sound of Music, Part 3. For today's lesson, you will need two rubber bands, one cardboard tube, two small craft paper squares, masking tape, four pipe cleaners, and half a cup of rice. Today's lesson is about percussion instruments. Can you name different percussion instruments? Did you think of any of these? Percussion instruments make sound from being struck. Often, the instruments will have a hollow body, which will amplify the sound. However, some percussion instruments make sounds in other ways. For instance, maracas make sound when shaken, while bells and triangles resonate at a specific frequency when hit. Today, we're going to be building a rain stick. Now start by coloring your cardboard too with a beautiful pattern of your choice. You can decorate it pretty much any way you'd like. Now I'm not doing this step to be able to move on to the next more important parts. First, crumple up the two craft paper squares. Now attach one craft paper square to the end of your cardboard tube using a rubber band. Now do this carefully and make sure that the rubber band is nice and tight. Now Cut some fringes along the outside of the square. This just adds an extra decoration to your rain stick. You can pull up the fringes just to make them look a little more interesting. All right, now I want you to wrap the four pipe cleaners around the two. Once you're done that, you can take them off. You can stretch them a little or twist them a little bit more. 
and place them one at a time inside the tube. Now you're going to attach the other craft paper square to the other end of the tube using the rubber band. Oh, I forgot one step. You need to put the rice inside the tube first. Now, this can be a bit messy, so do this carefully. I dropped a bit of the rice when I did this. You may want to use a funnel. All right, now let's put that other piece of craft paper on top and tie it down with an elastic. Make sure you get all the paper tied held down by the elastic. And now, just like before, you can use your scissors to cut fringes all the way around and then pull out the fringes just to give it a bit of an extra decoration. All right, now that you're finished creating your rain stick, to actually hear the rain, all you have to do is hold the ends to make sure they don't fall off, and very slowly tip your rain stick and turn it around to hear the rain fall. This is happening because the rice on the inside is striking the painter on the ends of the tube. That's what causes it. 
the, the sound of the rain falling. Thank you, my friends, for joining Junior Elementary STEM class. Merci beaucoup. I'm sure you had fun making your very own rain stick. Prends soin de vous, take care of yourselves, and I will see you next week. Au revoir.